Hey everybody, Turno Vision's back with another review. It's Austria, it's Colleen, and the song, We Will Rave. Will we rave? We will. We'll, we'll, rave. we'll probably rave. Ooh, a bit bit disotin. Looks like she randomly entered a male model shoot. I was just hanging out here on these tires, doing nothing. Oh, those shoes look so uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, but she can dance in them. That right, is impressive. Oh my gosh, it sounds so nice. Yeah, it's like it all my favorite songs from my childhood I just put together. Mm -hmm. And even video looks the same, like, you know. Yep. It's kind of not appropriate to do stuff like that these days, but in the 90s, it was the same. Yeah, it kind of brings you back to dark rooms, bright lights, weird pills. <laughs> oh, wow. Did you see that dress? <laughs> oh, the dress. Yeah. This is fun. This is so upbeat and happy music and very nostalgic for me. Yeah. But video. I'm not sure if I want to show it to my kid. Yeah, the video is a little difficult to watch. Um, maybe that's because I don't think I'm the target audience here. <laughs> this is fun. I love it. I love music like that. Yeah, this is cool. It's full of high energy. It is nostalgic to maybe a different era of music, but pretty good. Okay, let's rate it. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. Let us begin with the ratings. We start with the song we thought. Yeah, not bad. Uh, it is good. It's a good song. It's a lot of fun. Does bring back a lot of memories. Nothing too spectacular, but a lot of fun. What I like about this, it doesn't like influenced by 90s. It sounds like it is 90s. Like they literally made it in 90s, yeah. hide it from us for many, many years, <laughs> and finally get it and show it to us. Yeah. See, it sounds like a soccer song at the same time. Yeah. This like, brings the best memories, and that's why I just somehow love it. It is a time warp. It's cool. Then we come to the voice. What do we think about that singer? Uh, fair enough. Yeah, I thought she had a good voice. Uh, it's all, you know, it's a video recording, so we don't know how she's going to sound live. She didn't take too many risks, but she did sound good. You know, she sounded that uh, with a voice that really fit the song. Yeah, it's very matching voice for the song. Mm -hmm. If she can dance like that and keep singing the same, this rating will go up for me. <laughs> yeah, I agree. But for now, it's just a musical video, so yeah. we'll go from what we see. Fair enough. Okay, now we come to presentation, the set, the staging. What do we say? Mm. <laughs> Let's address the elephant in the room, or elephants with large abs. <laughs> uh, that was gross for me. I did not enjoy the video uh, at all. You know what? This is a weird video for 2000. 44, what year is this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but for 90s, that would be exactly how like pop videos looked. Yeah. So I think they did it purposefully to just highlight the era. That's fair. Look, I did give points for her dancing. She could dance. The other people were not there to dance. They were there they to... Humiliate you and send you to gym. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no. Maybe. <laughs> Anyways, what we see, we see that it will be a promise of a good dance, good mm -hmm. choreography, beautiful, mm -hmm. lighted, cool outfits. Yeah. So a little bit maybe in advance, but I yeah. give it seven. Just like believe in it. Yeah, Just maybe well. maybe a different gimmick than half naked men. I don't know. Or more naked men. Bring all or more. Naked men. <laughs> if you had a stage full where like too many naked men and they couldn't even move around like they were elbow to elbow, that might be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> and stinky. Which brings us to uniqueness. How does it stand out against the competition this year? We said six. Yeah, it's a dance song. There's a few dance songs in this competition. This one gets points for being a little bit more nostalgic, I think. Yeah, I don't even know how to judge uniqueness. For 90s, it's not unique. For 24, maybe. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And finally, we come to personal preference. What do we think about the song? Individually, yeah. <laughs> this was this was not my favorite. I didn't hate it. I like it. You know, I like the style of music and everything. It just, it's okay. Did you notice what happened here? Uh, it's my high score of this year. No. Full okay. disclosure, I got this recommended in Spotify before I send that here. Uh, and I'm already listening it for two or three days and I'm enjoying uh -huh. this. It's so nostalgic. It so brings me to my childhood. I just can't resist it. I love it. It's my favorite song of this year. Yes, there's maybe entries that are way more like profound, bringing some messages, but this is a guilty pleasure of mine and I'm staying for my own. Does it go on your playlist? It's living there. <laughs> it's like totally taking over it. Fair enough. I like it. <laughs> 
All right, well, that's what we thought about the song. What did you think about the song? Did you catch that 90s nostalgia vibe? Let us know in the comments, as always. Like, subscribe, please. And we'll see you next time on Turnovision. Bye.